Hello, 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 and welcome back to, uh, the, the game. Um, in this case, I've, uh, vastly increased the video recording quality, uh, at the cost of the video file size. I sincerely hope this works out. I can't guarantee the audio, so let's find out. But, uh, I'm really excited to run the, the Elemental Mage deck for y'all, so let's see how things go. Right off the bat, Jaina versus Gul'dan. Gul'dan. Most people running Gul'dan these so days are running the new mind. Warlock Hero Knight, you asked for it. which honestly is probably just a little better than Jaina, but playing for about the same endgame plan. Uh, early board control is important, but really the most important thing is drawing your Jaina power on time. And honestly, that's a problem with this deck, period, that I don't... Because of that problem, I don't think this deck is ever going to be top tier. Uh, this deck, ooh, that's a good creation. This deck requires you to uh, draw Jaina and play her on turn 9 for maximum value. Or turn 10 is okay, maybe, whatever. Problem. What if you don't draw her in time? Uh, typically speaking, uh, what's better? I want to play a 2-mana 3-2, but that opens me up to so much counterplay. I would rather just control the board. Anyway, um, the problem with playing... Uh, uh, the thing about Jaina is, by turn 10, you've drawn 10 cards, plus your original 4, so about 14. So it's 50-50 that that one of in your entire deck is, is, is in your hand at that point. I feel okay doing this. Give us both a little bit of draw. But I, I care more about drawing Jaina than I do about forcing him to draw into his thing. If I draw into Jaina on time, amazing. And that's why I include two Arcane Intellects and this guy to help me get that draw off. This is good for me, actually. This is very good for me. A little less good for me. Uh, I think in this situation, we do this. And do I need an element? I need an elemental activator pretty badly in order to. So I screwed up. I should have gone two, one, and one. And that would have been best. I mathed my turn wrong. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very much new at running this deck. I could Frostbolt and then remove the whole board, but unfortunately, making the wrong play here is probably the right decision so that I get Kalimos on schedule. We'll do this just so he can't make a trade that I don't want him to make. He probably will trade this for me. Or go face and force me to make the trade later. Either way, I'm okay with. Actually, I'm not. I don't want Kalimus to get hit, so I really hope he makes this trade for me. And he probably won't. Yeah, yeah, he goes face. So what's his four drop? I go five, then I go four. This is, this is okay. I'm just building towards a big flame strike, I guess. And this is an even trade. Oh, Christ. So he has played and killed a demon and a, not a demon. So I guess we're okay here, huh? In terms of what he's going for overall. Uh, that's a big, big, big problem. 4-8 uh, to the face is nothing to sneeze at. I still prefer this. Actually, Tar Elemental is perfect here, though. Eh, nope. Go for Kalimos. That gives you value. And unfortunately, I didn't get value here. I got crap. I will take a cheapo that might roll me a better spell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So hand is almost full. Uh, if I drop him, 2, 4, 5, that's a pretty good turn. Alternatively, 4, generate value, 6, nope. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of... I'm definitely thinking in terms of freezing that, rather than just letting it hit face for days. What? Okay, that's definitely not the play he wanted to make. He's very com much committing right now to going face and discards. I wonder why. Um, if I go 4 and 2 and take a little bit more face, that's nice, but I should really just Tar Creeper. And then... Oh, perfect. Tar Creeper, and then this. Get that cheap freeze off. And then turn. 
So he's not going to be able to get through easily. He'll need cards out of hand. That thing can die next turn to the Flame Strike now because I got it down to four. And anything else he plays, if he doesn't trade, dies as well. So this is actually very good for me. Hmm, looks like I have a Spectator. That was unexpected. Um, but it does prevent me from needing to Flame Strike, so I'm happy about that. Uh, 4, 2, 1 is probably correct. 4, generate. 2 to zap him out. And 1 to play the board. So I have a board he does not. He still has the Death Knight power, and if he plays it, uh, he's lost at least 3 demons at this point, but they're all pretty tiny ones, and I'm holding the Flame Strike. So even without Jaina, I'm in good shape right now. But this is what I meant. I would love to draw Jaina two turns from now. With my board set up with a couple elementals. And there's no way to guarantee that. Okay, how do I deal with this? Oh shit. He's probably running that legendary that gets more powerful based on how many times you've discarded. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Let's do this. And give myself a secret. That should become a 5-5 in short order. Yeah, I will keep this in stock. That might dissuade him from making some plays, because he doesn't know for sure that that's a nice block. Nope, he is just going for the gusto. Although this is actually a really good situation for me, I get to trade into that pretty nicely. Still probably go for it. Uh, this would have been the turn to play Jaina, and you can see how much that would have helped my game. Flame Strike is bad here. Uh, I think draw first, and then we'll see. Okay, well that decides that. Play out an Elemental Activator. And we will, in fact, remove his Mighty Taunt. And play out another. So we're activated on Elements. If I don't draw Jaina, I drop Kalimos. Either way, it's a good turn. I've got two Flame Strikes and a Frost Nova. Basically, I'm pretty confident right now to win. Even, well, if he gets his Warlock Hero power, though, and he might, he's definitely getting there. Oh, come on, give me a Jaina, give me a Jaina. That, that's not a Jaina. Brothers, Pyros is amazing here. Uh, generates value for days with Jaina. Uh, we'll save this for next time. Two, three. This time. And he concedes. So definitely a win. And this honestly just shows the power of the early game shell. In that uh, my early game shells with all of its elementals. Um, and elemental synergies. It does a very good job aggressively holding the early game board and dealing with even some big threats that might come out with uh, double fireball, polymorph, ice block, and freezes of one, two, sorry, uh, blizzard, blizzard, and frost nova variety, but, and a couple frost bolts. But we've yet to see this actually do its thing the second time around, so I'm going to hang on and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get another game in and then you guys can see it in action. Thank you all for watching. See you guys shortly.